Hello and welcome everybody to the Game Idiots present Westcott. Today we are jumping into Phantom Manor. We're going to be building this from the ground up. After what can only be described as a failed attempt. Terrain. Flat. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. C, mother, load, control shift C, mother load, control shift C, mother load, and control shift C, mother load. You know what? This is good. Oregon Foundation. Level all, please. Thank you. I just remember where I had set it originally. Because I had a specific spot. It's like here. It was thirty by twenty. Thank you. And then, of course, coming out of the front, ten, cool. Was the thing that extended at a four? Thank you. Oh, there we go. This one day around the house. On either side. To a six by to a six by four or to a six by three on both sides. Uh, this is so much easier now that I already have the dimensions pre planned, if you will. Because the first time around, I was trying to build things. Now, I'm considering just dropping that as a separate bonus video, as like a gag video on Friday, all of my failed attempts at things. So, maybe. I just remembered about something, but that's fine because of the power of the hammer. In fact, I caught it early enough on this central part. Actually, a little bit bigger than I. I'd originally built. There we go. Now to test out this, because I just realized I really hope it actually works. So I built that. Can I put a door 
Yes, I can. Cool. In that case, I will finish up with the rest of this. More so. Interesting stuff. There we go. go. And of course over here it's the same as the other side. Ah, beautiful. Now all of the conditions are met. Nifty. see about this though. Nice fence. Yeah. No. This? There we go. is a classic really. The design of this house is kind of inspired by a western interpretation of the uh, Victorian houses that you might have found. AKA basically imagine what the Wild West would have had if they had Victorian houses. So a lot of older California houses and stuff like that might see something of this nature. pretty much exclusively because I happen to know about it already. There are the little patios over each side. Of course, the only one that breaks that pattern is this front one, which actually does go quite a bit bigger than Uh, 
others. Cool. I see about this real quick. Top down. Mm, now I can get rid of all of that. Neat. <laughs> Top down is definitely a viewpoint that while in the game, I believe the term would be not recommended. Whew. Amazon? Or er, Alexa? What's my notification? One new notification. Henry Sigmund has new messages. I tell the annoying. Huh. Cool.
for some reason it just has so much trouble chugging along with whenever you build a lot of stuff. That much I will probably be mildly confused by for a little bit. Yes. This floor is roughly identical to the previous floor with one rather large exception. The internal layout will be a little bit different. And the third floor, on the other hand, is just this floor. I mean, this room, I should say. Mitch will have a special spiral staircase and do it. Do 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 do. And then otherwise, this floor will have a. very tall obviously gothic and Inspired roof. Hopefully it realizes what I want. And of course it doesn't undo. Hopefully this time around it will realize and avoid that part. Of course it doesn't undo that as well. Isn't there smart roofing? If I do something along the lines of that, and no. thank you. What do you mean by can't support the weight? can't support the weight. No, 
that's not gonna work either. Does kind of work. Tall shirt roof. This one is probably the best. I do want to go into this room. Make sure that we put no roof. Good, good. Yeah, that looks just about right. And of course, there's the question of A, where are the entrances? And B, the inside like hmm. oh yes of course I almost forgot okay. thank you tool tip I'd rather have it right there. Uh, of course, equally so. It's right here on this side. Ah, yes, of course. Eloquent double doors. <laughs> and of course, Wando's. Doo doo. I want to see about the actual windows and okay so they're kind of archy and if I can get them with shutters is nice Of course, for the entryway. What better stained glass? It being 
truly stained. He was looking for you. All right, I guess I'll see. All right, we're back. Sorry about the minor inconvenience. <sighs> Powerade is weird. I don't know if any of you have ever drinking it. Then I want to see something. In real life, Phantom Manor, it's... Like this. Yeah, that looks fine enough. Because I can set the inside to however I want it to look. I end up deciding I don't like something. That is pretty easy to fix. And then those around the doors. Then I'll just eyedropper this. I don't know how many it would be along the back, but I'm guessing like every so often. Oh, of course, this one will get moved over. Thank you. Yep. I think this house is looking mighty fine. If in I do say so myself. Of course, this is just over a bit too much. Boop. There we go. Yeah, and of course, since I've never actually been on Phantom Manor, I can't say for sure how the uh, inside of the house operates, but I am thinking about something. What if this motif is carried on throughout the every floor for this particular room? I mean, as far as entryways go, it's not the most elegant of entryways, but it works, I suppose. 
Oh, snap. Undo. But what I did... No. What I did mean to do is this. My swivel cam rabbit. I'll get rid of the chunky chunks on every floor. Except for the top floor, obviously. And then, of course, eventually I'll actually put in real floors. Then I think probably next episode I'll be f putting the furniture and other stuff to make this house a home. And so, if you don't want to miss that, make sure you stay tuned in. Same bat time, same bat channel. I also just realized I'm going to do this. Suck. Thank you. I like that motif even. That was weird. Alexa just opened up, but uh. I like the idea and like the motif of that circle room so much that I might turn that to a room that's like something that will make the sims go through it. I don't know what yet, but I'll figure something out for that. Then for this, I can have a I think I want to see about this. Just eyedropper it. Eyedropper is certainly one of those tools that it will save you in a pinch a whole lot of headaches. Of course, the second floor is a lot less windowy in general. Rather, the second floor is primarily dedicated to interior kind of stuff. You know, the kind of stuff that. works for you. Don't. And I like this. I like what I've got going so far. I think... Because then the third floor is just this, right? Yeah. No, it's just a window right there. Not quite as per instruction, but basically because of instruction.
And of course the inside. Since they do have this great hill blocking most of the view. Which, by the way, I will be messing up the terrain a little bit so it doesn't look quite as harsh of a drop off there. Don't worry. <laughs> what I think I'll do is I'll put in a... Small bathroom there. Cool. And otherwise, I don't really know I need to build anything per se in this bottom floor. Oh, how could I almost, how could I forget? Truly am a bit daft, I think. <laughs> the end of quote guest room. The endless zones don't actually have guests. This is mostly a bedroom and then a skill kind of dedicated to stuff. Just a tiny little bathroom. I don't know why, but I'm just feeling in a very generous mood. I'll give them a second bathroom down here. This back wall is mostly kitchen. I have no idea what's in this big open space. So I might as well do this, though, while I'm thinking about it. Window knobs creak. Window knobs shake. And hinges creak. This house contains running hot, or hot and cold, running chills. Ha. Huh. It appears to be my ride. I will catch you all a little later. Then, of course, these doors. as is tradition for really any kind of crazy door. There we go. Now this bottom floor is basically done as far as that part's concerned. I'll come back with the other stuff later. I almost forgot I do half do you still do this? Staircase. Do, 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 do. How could I how could I forget about How could I forget about the most visually stunning part of the house?
Yes. Teardropper. Right back where it was supposed to go. Cool. But, uh. Right. Yeah, that's right. Cool. It is visually impressive. Not particularly practical, but... Effective. I course, in the... Dead center of this room. I do want to make sure that it's centered as best I can. Yeah, that looks just about right. Cool. No. Yes, using. As its point. Ah, perfect. There we go. And of course I would like it to have the... You know, I have the f kitchen be like... Like, kitchen. Perhaps kitchen and kitchen along those, and then there's like stuff. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. That is more for future me. But I know that. There we go. Fireplace. Ooh, yes, that is. I'm gonna spin this around and look at it more close. Ooh, that... That really works. There we go. I drop her and put it right here. Cool. Okay, I see. That is first floor basically built. I think so. And that's all decoration stuff. This is foundations, garage. Um, got all the doors and windows I need. Cool. Next floor, please.
Now this is gonna sound a bit weird, but I think I'm gonna put the parents up here in this like attic room. Do 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 do. Cool. Either way, though, it is an exact mirror of the bottom floor for that. Now that actually kind of works out for another plant I had. So there's like the yeah, and then the older sister has a. Nine by how much? Six? Six by nine is fine. On the side over here, there's another six by nine room. But in actuality, <laughs> because real life bathrooms are like this and I can never figure it out. There is bathtub closet, poop closet. Poop closet the second. shower closet. Then there is sink space. Of course there's like decorations or whatever. In fact I think sink might be along this wall. Either way, it'll work out, I'm sure. Because... There's both those doors and windows. Yeah. There we go. You might be wondering why is she the only one who gets like a special cool ring? Simply, others haven't earned their right to 
close the door, basically. So we pick it and spin it around. Yeah. Cool. I believe with enough doors now. Now I go up the last floor. See, there's not really much I have to do to fix up there. Right? Cool. Now I get to just decorate things. First things first, flooring. Ooh, so I can change out that wood. Dark mahogany. This being a older house. As you may have expected, there is a lot of older design choices. So I should involve how you get. What is the... Let me see. I want the floor plan, I want the... Haunted Mansion... Inter... The... Inter... Okay, so it looks like if it's mostly just kind of a little bit creepier of carpets. By creepier, I mean crappier carpets. Ugh, carpet. Oh, there's like the exact carpet. At least for this entry room it is. Undeniably this carpet man. Undo, undo. Oh, I see. I'm about to get a nice wood. Huh. 
this floor basically goes throughout the whole mansion. There is legend of the family who lived before in this very house. They was nice people, cursed to fight forever, in an endless struggle with death itself. I know it is very much so. This house does feel very red. But that is to be kind of expected, it is. Not well, this house. And also, that is the base floor. It's going to be a little bit. I like the Sumerian replicant. Oh, it just feels like something that people who think they're being cool would have. And of course... The little area around the fireplaces are all obviously going to be given this, too. I should say catch the fire, if you will. Cool. I think all the flooring is looking pretty good now. Actually, I'm going to steal an eyedropper. Steal windmill parquet. For this. This. And. Yes, and of course the kids' rooms are going to be a lot more. Their color palette. I want to look at the kids' room. So she's pinks and purples. Your reds and blues, and your light blues. Got it. When they first moved into the house, the Phantom family considered changing out the carpet in the center part, claiming it to be just a bit too creepy for their liking. However, as time went on, they grew to love the carpet. And so years later, it still remains as as a sign of forgotten dreams. But fear not. It is not with a saddened heart, but with a happy heart they kept it. Okay, now I want to see that carpet. So you're mostly pinks and purples, aren't you? Uh, I would love to see a nice carpet that works with her color palette. Yeah, I think for her, best bet is this one, because then I can just make it myself.
Is there a spinning? Ah, oh, there we go. I had a feeling there was a way to spin it. That looks as though my feeling paid off. As I was able to discover a way to spin it. Cool. So now her rain is finished. A bit more purple than maybe I would have liked, but hey. His carpet is going to be nice red. What if I do just do plum bob? Yeah, that works for her. She seems like out of everybody there that she would be the most simish of them. Dancing in blue. Diamond in the rough looks fine enough. Now for the center part. Feels at least a little bit of why I chose to keep it is well, at the end of the day, it does feel very I don't know, in a way almost yeah, see like this is definitely where the life of the house is. But most of it is very much the muted colors. And I kind of like it. It gives off a nice look to the house that otherwise you just don't get. I feel like that's about it for this part. Because I kind of did everything I wanted to. But it feels weird. I feel like I shouldn't be done for several hours. Of course, tomorrow is buy mode. Oh. 
that's going to be definitely a big P-A-I-N I-N T-H-E B-U-T-T -T. Yeah Dressers, children, parties, vehicles, and pets, and miscellaneous. All of them. Well, I guess I will be jumping in tomorrow. So stay tuned. Same bat time, same bat channel, everybody. Alright, that looks like it's good. Bye-bye.